And on the outside, Niche Market on the inside, Ballad Briggs. Santa Sun has been pulled up. Oscar Time was over in third. A mistake there. A significant error by Don't Push It. It was very low over that fence. State of Play made a mistake, but he was beaten at the time. Down Arbor Supreme at the back of the field as they go over the Melling Road in the National. And it is Ballad Briggs and Jason Maguire out in front to Niche Market racing in second. On the inside, Oscar Time is in third. And then Big Fella Thanks. And then last year's winner, Don't Push It, now being pushed along by AP McCoy as they make the turn with two to jump in the National. A niche market on the outside is being pushed along alongside the nose-pounded Bala Briggs, but Sam Whaley Cohen is poised in behind on Oscar Time in the orange sleeve jacket. AP niggling away on Don't Push It. Big fella thanks for the checks on the sleeves. Then a break back to surface to air. They make the long run towards the second last, and it's Bala Briggs who will lead at the second from home. Oscar Time on the inside. Niche market. Big fella thanks produced in the centre, and then Don't Push It. There's one left to jump in the National. It's Bala Briggs for Donald McCain and Jason Maguire chased by Oscar Time and Big Fella Thanks. Bala Briggs is over the last two lengths clear. Oscar Time and Big Fella Thanks chase him towards the elbow. Niche Market is back in fourth. Don't push it his fifth and one pace in front. Bala Briggs but Oscar Time is ranging up to have a go at him. They head towards the elbow with still over a full on to go in the national. Oscar Time and Sam Whaley Cohen get to the quarters of Bala Briggs and chase the Maguire. Bala Briggs finds a bit more. He's game and he's all heart. Bala Briggs, Oscar Time got to him but he can't get past Bala Briggs driven out by Jason Maguire Donald McLean follows in his father's footsteps and Donald McLean trains his first John Swiss Grand National winner Jason Maguire and Bala Briggs win the national for Trevor Hemmings so down the side of the course they go they've just got this one more fence to take the cross fence and then the half mile run in Native River again jumped it really well throwed on is now digging in. He's got to within two and a half lengths in second. Santini is in third. Lakeview Lad is running huge in fourth position as they now make the run back into the home straight and on now towards the final three furlongs. Native River and Richard Johnson pursued by Frodon, by Santini, and the eye is drawn to the grey over on the far side, Brian Hughes and Lakeview Lad. And Lakeview Lad at the moment is the one who may be going the best. A glance over to his rivals from Brian Hughes. It was a cheeky look, and Lakeview Lad is the one who has breezed into the lead. Santini is now coming alongside, and now Lakeview Lad is having to dig. Lakeview Lad driven for the first time. Santini now has just taken the lead as a race on now towards the chicane by the chair. Still over a furlong to go. Lakeview Lad, Santini, Native River is beginning to rally once again. Still over a half furlong to go. Lake Lakeview Lad now by half a length. Santini, a further length and a half. Back to Native River. Now they've got 100 yards to go. Lakeview Lad in the colours of Trevor Hemmings. Lakeview Lad has won the many clouds. In second was Santini and in third, Native River. It's many clouds and last year's winning jockey, Leighton Aspel, who lead. Centaur in Paddy Brennan up on the outside. And then the soon-to-be 20 times champion, AP McCoy, on shut the front door. Just beginning to niggle away in third place as they run on down to towards the second last. Royal Knight, Oscar Time with the orange sleeves making headway for Sam Whaley Cohen. Two out, many clouds over in front from Shut the Front Door and Centauri were chasing. Royal Knight took it in fourth, then Oscar Time followed by Mombeg Dude, Solid Alvarado, and it's many clouds in the colors of Trevor Hemmings who will lead at the final fence in the national. Lands three lengths clear. St. R chases him off towards the elbow. Shut the Front Door back in third and now looking one pace. Mombeg Dude is staying on in fourth then Royal Knight and Alvarado just over a furlong to go in the National. Many clouds and late Naspel. Four, maybe five lengths ahead of Centaur. Monbeg Dude is still staying on stoutly. Has moved into third and then shut the front door. Many clouds. Centaur is trying to get on terms. Cutting him back near the line. Many clouds clinging on tenaciously from St. R in the colours of Trevor Hemmings. It's Many Clouds who wins the Krabby's Grand National. Late Naspel again. Alberta Murders run gets a neck up as they go around the turn. Monet's Garden in second, then in third on the inside is Tartak, followed by O'Crick and for Paddy the Plaster is raising another effort, coming into it from Mahogany Blaze. Three out now. Alberta's run over it well. He got over it by about two lengths in front of for Paddy the Plaster, running on well. Then Monet's Garden is uh, struggling now as they come to the last ditch, two out, and it's Alberta's run. Asked for a long one, he responds for Paddy the Plaster, and they was battling on Monet garden behind them from Tartak and they're followed by O'Crick and Mahogany Blaze. They've got one left to 
jump now in the Valley Chase. And Alberta's run goes over towards the inside from Papati the Plaster and Monet's Garden. Further back then is Tartak. They come to the last now. Alberta's run on the far side. Being grabbed by Fabani the Plaster. They're clear of Monet's Garden. But Alberta's run is digging deep. Alberta's run is going to win it for AP McCoy. What a performance. Fabani the Plaster is second. Third is Monet's Garden. Just in that hero's collage, Inox, Royal Oak Claire, Jolly Bay on the wide outside, simply gifted is snapping up the heels, then Forrest Gunner with the galloping mother, a uh, galloping mother there, carry four to the outside, Colonel Ravens out of the contest, they jump three from home, as they head on towards the Melling Road, and it's Hedge Hunter who leads, being chased in second place by Inox, and then Heroes, Collange is next, Ben Eddie Gill is out of the race, just in depth up the inside, Forrest Gunner's got a few lengths to find, it takes time, is creeping into the race as well, Von Mort has been pulled up before the third line, they're on the race course proper. It's Hedge Hunter. That's the one to catch over to Jim McGrath. Any one of ten horses could win. The John Smith's Grand National here as Hedge Hunter leads them there. Now with two fences left to jump. In second, Heroes Colonge. In third is Inox. Starting to get closer as Polar Red on the outside. A rank outsider just in debt behind them. Carry Ford has had a magnificent ride here on Forest Gunner. They come up towards the second last. Hedge Hunter for Ruby Walsh. Three links in front of Inox and also there is Polar Red, just in debt the inside from Grawler Claire and simply gifted. Forrest Gunner coming there strongly on the outside, the big white face. Neil Desperandum is next from Heroes Collage. They've got one fence to jump in the National. It's Hedge Hunter in front from Royal Claire, simply gifted and Inox just behind them. But Ruby Walsh has sailed over the last in front on Hedge Hunter. He's four lengths clear now. Royal Claire simply gifted. Carrie Ford is trying hard on Forrest Gunner. Inox is behind them from Neil Desperandum. They're at the elbow in the National. Ruby Walsh is going strongly. He's out in front of Hedge Hunter. He's six lengths clear of Royal Clear and simply gifted. And Ruby Walsh is going to win the John Smith's Grand National on Hedge Hunter. Fell in the last last year, but too good for them this time. Hedge Hunter wins it. A second Grand National for Ruby. Second was Royal Clear. Third is simply gifted. Fourth is his stakes time. In fifth place, Carrie Ford on Forrest Gunner. What a ride. They're followed by Neil Desperandum.